had a suggestion to repair my Fieldfare Ferguson label, which was uh, to use decal paper, and that was suggested by Graham at uh, Radio Cruncher, so thank you for that. Um, I've made a scan of this, and then I've tried to uh, reverse it and then alter the shadow to get rid of the uh, marks which are on this one. So I've produced this now, so what I've got to do is cut it out, then you soak it in water for 20 seconds and then I've got to slide it on here. So I've got two to try, I've got a few spare sheets, it's not cheap but uh, hopefully I'll be uh, successful and uh, not muck it up. Right, let's see if I can make a complete mess of this. <clears throat> so here's my decal, here's my bowl of water, and here's what it's going on to. So apparently I have to put this in for about 20 seconds. <clears throat> What's the instructions say? It takes 20 seconds for the backing paper to start to slip away. Using your finger and thumb, see if it will slide away, but do not remove completely. With the backing still on, start to slip away and place your decal onto your surface. Mm, I'm going to make a right mess of this, isn't I? I can just tell. Uh, I will stick to electronics, I think. So I'll have a look. So about 20 seconds. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, it's all going a bit bendy. All right. It's 20 seconds up yet. Not quite. Hmm. It doesn't seem to be slipping away. Uh, nearly up to 20 seconds. I think that's about 20 seconds. No, well I can't feel anything. Oh, yes I can. Oh, what have I done? Oh yeah, it's right. Oh goodness. Oh no. Well, made a bit of a mess of that, haven't I? <laughs> uh, oh, that was a bit too long, wasn't it? I think. Right. Here's one I prepared earlier, a second one, right, so that was a bit too long. Okay, let's try again. Right, let's see if I can get it wrong a second time. Right, just trying to keep an eye on the clock. Right, that's about 20 seconds. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What am I doing? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Right. Let's see if I can get it right this time. Oop, cool, doesn't it slide? Right. right, probably best I leave that alone now. Oh. <laughs> Is a good idea. No. No, nope, probably isn't. Oh, it's still sliding. Mm. There's water underneath. Oh dear. Not as easy as I thought. It's on the wonk. I think that's what you call dabbing, but I think I'm moving the damn thing still. Yeah. Um, yes. Yes, it's still moving. That's a bit concerning, so. I 
think this takes a certain amount of ooh, the delicacy which I probably haven't got right I think I think I'm gonna leave that alone now <sighs> Right, let's uh, revisit this Femista. I found one. So at the moment the crescent current is 22.4 milliamp. The information I got tends to suggest it's either 16 or 18. Unfortunately I can't tell. Um, but uh, let's swap the Femista out and uh, see what happens. Okay then, the new Femista's in and I've given it five minutes to cool down. But obviously I've been soldering it and we now have 15 milliamps which is a lot closer to 16 milliamps than 22 milliamps is so maybe there is something wrong with that for mister good okay interesting little exercise I've had a listen doesn't sound really any extra distortion it draws 9.8 milliamps with no bias so it's a reasonable amount I think compared to some other radios I've looked at so I think that's more like it should be and I guess I've got now a 25% increase in battery life which is good well there you go I've uh, got a sticker on again I've had several attempts at this I must admit that I should have took more time over doing this and uh, it was a good idea getting help from somebody else to uh, put it on because I'm not very good at it but there is a there is a gap there um, which might not show on the camera but I got that slightly wrong but uh, and I think this is too high but hey it looks a lot lot better than what I had before so I'm quite happy the only problem I found with this field fair is this case has a case has, is having a habit of um, bulging slightly and I don't know why it's doing that I guess it's slightly warped with age but uh, yeah it does look better doesn't it um, the decal on I did bake this in the finish um, in the oven at about 110 centigrade because the f first second one I did it slipped off even after 24 hours so it obviously hadn't dried but anyway that's an improvement thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you soon